In this video, we will learn about how to create a table from your data set. So, I can see in the last video we practice subtotal. So, first remove this subtotal by clicking subtotal, then remove all. Now, this is our previous data that we used to work on. So, table is a very good uh, facility available in Excel, which can help in different type of calculation and it gives us, you know, a facility when we need to put less calculation, it automatically picks uh, multiple things. So, to create a table, we will use a short key, either control T or we will go in the insert option then this option table let's right click on this you get a particular box here it automatically pick all data which is available in this data set and this also gives an option my data my table has a header so we have a header here so let it check and then click OK. Now we see that in got change and it will become a table, Excel table. Also notice here that this already has a drop down box like this and you even cannot change this. Now explore multiple options that what we can do with this table first the table styles there are multiple table styles available in this you can use any of the options to change your data in any format or you can even customize your style here or you can remove the option by clear now come to the next box that is table style operation here multiple options are available like if you wanted to remove header just click here the header has been removed this gives us an option of banded rows remove this and if you wanted to click again then click again you can put total rows means here this total option in the row can be seen even it can be changed this basically comes as a sum of all these numbers here it was the sum you even can average get the average number overall get the count 50 count numbers of course 50 and max number anything you can get from here you can put some uh, condition like first column then banded column this type of banded column will come you can even uncheck this filter or you can use that now even you can use the slicer like this that we will read study in the further uh, videos so I say basically uh, filter the data based on some criteria that will be available here or somewhere you can put and just click on that you can even get an option of remove duplicate summarizing pivot you can just put in a, it in a pivot table now there are some more facilities available like if I wanted to add some more column like 
count let us suppose just clicking we can see automatically it picks this new column and it automatically covers it in the table one more thing that we can do if we wanted to make calculation by okay, like how much was the acquisition cost and multiply it by quantity so that it can give us total cost so as soon as i have selected this cell you can see that it gives me some column name in a particular different format so these are the identifiers for the table and just multiply the quantity as soon as you enter this it automatically paste this formula from top to down this is the beauty of table it helps us a lot to save our time it automatically customize it automatically covers everything that helps us a lot in saving our time